Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make a strong bully, and this is the way I do mine. There's no really special way to make this. It's basically a pizza rolled up into a bread, but it's a really nice combination. You can put whatever you want into it, and uh, this is a demonstration on how I do mine. So, this is a Pillsbury bread dough here. I'm, I'm not reinventing the wheel and making my own dough, uh, but I did buy this, and it, it rolls out square onto this parchment paper, which is a really good way to attack this, and I recommend you do it the same way so the dough doesn't rip. And then you basically start by putting down some sauce. So this is Contadina, just a store-bought pizza sauce. You can make your own. Again, this is all in an effort of saving time here, so I thought I would just get something that I know and like. So we'll just put a little bit here. And you want to spread it, leave about an inch, about this much when you get to the edge. You don't want a lot because this is all going to bake on the bottom and everything's going to kind of come to the bottom. So there will be a lot of moisture down here. And you do, uh, you do run the risk of tearing it if you have too much moisture inside of this thing. But just spread this around so you have a nice thin layer. Just like that. Next, I put down a layer of cheese. The cheese will help absorb some of this sauce and some of the moisture that comes out of the meats that are going to get layered in, so it's always a good idea to put this right on top of the sauce. So that looks about good. So from here, I've actually pre-cooked a meat mixture. So this is Italian sausage, ground beef, onion, fresh garlic. There's Italian seasonings in here like oregano, basil, French thyme, cracked pepper, sea salt. So I have this all pre-prepared. And basically you're just going to spread this all around now I made enough for a couple strombolis so you'll see I'm only going to use about half of this notice I'm not giving you weights or sizes I, I tend to just wing everything and go by taste and go by sight to me that looks like the right amount now I also have some thin shaved smoked ham, smoked ham, honey ham, whatever you want to do. The key to stromboli is really layering multiple meats inside of here. And these are the ones that I like to do. <clears throat> now you can do a Philly cheesesteak stromboli. You could do thin sliced roast beef in here, sauteed peppers, onions, provolone cheese, and you could serve it. Uh, when it comes out of the oven with an au jus. But this one always seems to be a really big hit. It's packed with flavor. It never lasts very long. You'll likely be the life of the party. In fact, this one is going to a party this evening. So lay those in there just like that. Lastly, I take pepperoni. Just layer them in again. Any way you like is really fine. No rhyme or reason. So this is the basis of your stromboli right here. If you want, you can put a little bit more of your cheese on there just to give it another layer. Make sure you get a good amount of cheese inside of this thing. Nobody's going to complain. So here we have an egg wash. So take this egg wash, might just run it around the edges a little bit. And an egg wash is just an egg and some water to help it spread a little bit further. Also acts as kind of a glue or a binding agent. So now once your stromboli is put together, what we're going to do is actually fold these edges in.
<clears throat> this is going to help keep it all together just by doing this. And then we're going to fold this two to three times is going to be the best amount of time. So this is where the parchment paper really comes into handy. So now we can simply go like this. We're going to peel that back. So notice you have a little bit left here. So this is, you want to make a roll so it flips over again. So now what you can do is you can take this side of parchment paper, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a little more egg wash right along here. Probably going to put some here too. And then we're going to turn this rather quickly. Now that is a beautiful stromboli. It came out perfectly. So we take our egg wash. You're going to go right back over the top again. So this is going to brown in the oven really nice like a bread. Just like that. Dried parsley. A little color and presentation. And you want to be sure to take a knife and you want to put slits in here because the dough will rise and it will blow up. If you don't have a place for the air to escape, it's going to be just like putting a pizza dough in the oven without having poked it with a fork. So you want to make sure you do this step. And lastly, Parmesan cheese all over the top. From here, you can pick this whole thing up, slide it right onto a sheet pan. This is going to go into an oven at 350 degrees for uh, probably 15, 20 minutes. I'm just going to eyeball it and kind of see how it looks. But when it comes out golden brown like a nice fresh baked bread, you have yourself a really nice Italian stromboli. Manja. I eat on the pasta twice just because she is so nice, Angelina. Angelina, which is sad to bit I keep soup and minestrone just to be with her alone, Angelina.